What's up, Gosu gang? It's the Gosu driver here. And today I wanted to unveil something very special. This car is going to be helping me further refine and develop my race car driving skills and something that I'm going to be taking care of and cherishing for a long time to come. So without further ado, the car in question is not my CCC3 SAMG or my bicycle, because that's not a car, but my 2002 C5 Z06. This car only has 5,500 miles on it, and I purchased it because of that low mileage. I, I understand that you know low mileage cars that have been sitting around for a long time do develop issues. Mine already has leaky butt syndrome, which is the I think a differential leak. Um, that, that that can be fixed, no issue at all. Everything other than that has been bulletproof. I mean, there's been no issue at all. The engine just flies. I mean, it, it's an amazing car. The design cues I think are timeless and I think that this car has the best look for almost every Corvette until the C7. Um, I think it's a very unique and very flowy and it just looks like a really good car, even for this day and age. The only thing that I have a gripe on is this chrome accent on these wheels. Not a fan of them, but I think back in that time period that was a pretty big thing to do. So. It's whatever, I'm gonna get new tires and new wheels anyways, so not a big concern. The tires itself are the original tires from the factory, so they're hockey pucks. I mean, they, they grip well, but I don't wanna keep using them because I feel like I'm playing with my life at that point. <laughs> so they're gonna be replaced um, probably first thing. Next up, you got the brakes. The brakes have this nice Corvette um, lettering on it. It's a very, Good brake system actually. Um, the compound is the original compound, so I mean it breaks pretty well for given its age. I'm pretty sure brake pads don't expire, but I would imagine that a fresh set would feel a lot better. And if that's so, this thing is a damn good system. Um, you can see the rotors in pretty good shape. Not a single issue with that at all. Next up, these, one of my favorite pieces is this flip up headlights. I think it adds a lot of personality to these cars. Like right now, it looks like it's asleep. And as soon as I flip it up, it's awake and ready to go. So it's a pretty cool thing. The badging is a really cool accent. It says Z06, 405 horsepower, which is what the engine is rated at. And the thing pulls, I mean, it's an amazing car. The badging itself, um, I'm not sure what this red. Usually badging has like distinctive like reasonings for their color choices or the way they're shaped and everything, but I'm not really too sure why it's red coloring, but I mean, it looks cool, so whatever. That's a nice, uh, nice addition there. Got a nice little vent going over here. Not sure if this is functional though. I mean, it has a little hole and it might be functional, but I don't see any kind of intake or outlet for it. So I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna figure it out soon though. Then you got the rear wheels, same, same deal over here. Original tires, all gonna replace anyways. Now, one of my favorite pieces of this car is actually the titanium exhaust system. This exhaust system sounds phenomenal. The fact that the engineering team at Chevy and uh, GM chose this um, material is phenomenal. I mean, think about it, 2002, this is a pretty exotic material. So I'm, I'm glad they used that. And I'm not sure why people chop them up and put Borla exhaust, stainless steel, this and that. Titanium is lightweight. It's meant for performance, and that's really all that matters. So, probably gonna keep this on for a long time. Um, I'll do an exhaust clip shortly. Next up, we'll go into the interior. The interior could use a lot of improvements, but again, I mean, it's from a time period where this is like, I guess, acceptable. Soft touch buttons, really weird. I mean, I never understood soft touch, but I mean, it's whatever. It just feels like you have like a piece of plastic over your button. I'm not a fan of it. Interior seats kind of suck, but I mean, again, time period wise, it's whatever. I mean, this is it's expected from GM quality. You have the Z06 stitched um, headrest over here. Really cool. I mean, for the time period, again, I'm going to keep saying that, but the time period, really cool specific there. Armrest over here has the flags and a nice red accent going along. You have the active handling button, which if you hold long enough, throws you into competitive mode and that thing slips and it's a lot of fun. Not a fan of this guy. Feels like you're holding a block when you're shifting. It's not 
not fun at all. And then you have the gauge cluster, which has a Z06 accent to it. And then one of my favorite features of this car and something that I find to be kind of ahead of its time is this. The heads up display. I mean, this thing is way ahead of its time. And the cool thing again, I'll show you again, that load up is so awesome. It feels like you're in like a fighter jet cockpit. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so that's enough with the interior. Standard selection of buttons, which I mean, if it's just a race car, I'm not going to be using all that often. So I don't really care about that. And then we'll move into under the hood. So under the hood, extremely light hood, by the way, I think this is fiberglass, but yeah, it's really cool. You have a 5.7 liter LS6 motor. This thing is bulletproof. I mean, you can throw anything at it and it'll just run until the end of time. It's, it's a really great uh, motor here. Stock airbox, stock coolant liquids. I have not flushed that yet. I probably should flush that, but that's gonna happen shortly. Windshield, windshield wiper fluid. Again, this is all original stuff. I'm gonna go through a full, full fluid flush anyways. I've done an engine oil change already, but I'm gonna have to go through um, clutch, uh, brake fluid and all that stuff. But yeah, I mean, not, not there's no corrosion. It just looks like it's brand new from the factory. And I, I love that aspect of this car. I mean, look at the condition. The engine sounds like a beast. Again, I'm gonna do a short um, exhaust clip shortly um, when I have it warmed up. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or if you guys want to see something else, oh, the cool thing is, oh, one more thing. If you look at this, there's a flag on the um, little protective area over here. It's, you can see it. It's very faint, but that's, that's a flag. Yeah, there it is, you can see it. Really cool little details hidden around here and there. Light included. But yeah, if you guys want to see something else, um, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And again, if you have any suggestions or comments, just feel free to enter it and I'll do my best to um, make that content. Appreciate it again. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.